So I thought this was going to be like any other day. I was going to sit down on my computer in the morning, go to my favorite news websites, see what's going on. Once in a while, I take the liberty of going to Comcast or AT&T's website to see if any new faster speeds are available. But today was the day. When I went on Comcast's website, I saw that I could get two gigabit service. I had read some articles about this. I saw that it was available in other parts of Florida, but I didn't actually think that it was gonna be available here in Fort Lauderdale anytime soon. When I proceeded through the website to order the service, I hit my first roadblock. They wanted to take away my customer-owned modem. I've had a customer-owned modem ever since I've had Comcast. It was the first thing I thought about. I didn't want to incur those monthly fees, and I wanted to own the device that I was actually running my service on. So for these faster speeds, Comcast requires you to rent their modem. And in this case, it was the XB8 modem. I had two different options, one to just rent their modem for $15 a month, and another one for $25 a month. I got the modem plus unlimited data. So instead of proceeding on the website, I decided to call Comcast to see if I could actually keep this guy instead. It turns out there's no way around renting the modem to get the faster speeds that I wanted, so I just gave in, told the lady on the phone that I would pick up the modem at the local Comcast store today and see what happened. When I went to the Comcast store, I assumed they were gonna have everything ready for me. They are gonna give me my XB8 modem that the lady on the phone told me was gonna be ready for me at the store. Um, thankfully, she did tell me it was white. So when the, the gentleman behind the counter proceeded to hand over the modem and it was black and something I'd seen before for the past couple of years, I soon realized he was giving me the wrong one. Thankfully, I caught it and they were able to switch that out for the correct XB8 modem and I was on my way back home. Overall, the activation process of the new modem was really simple. I'm used to going to a website um, when I plug my new modem in and then um, logging into my Comcast account or typing in my cell phone number to register it. This time I actually used the Xfinity app on my iPhone and it actually worked out seamlessly. After 10 minutes, my new modem was activated and the first thing I went to do is run a speed test to see if I was actually getting my advertised speeds. So as I started to run the speed test, I was really excited to see um, all the, the new fast speed that I got on my service here. And then it didn't even actually reach one gigabit per second download. I was thinking, what the heck is going on? My first thought was Comcast didn't actually provision the new speeds in my account. But the more I thought about it, I'm like, maybe there was something else. So I was plugging into the wrong ethernet port. So doing a quick search on the internet, I found out that you actually don't plug it into the first ethernet port, you plug it into number four with the red line, and that's the 2.5 gigabit ethernet port we need to use to get full speeds. Switching back to do another full speed test here, you can see, um, wait, actually the speeds are going above two gigabits. What the heck is going on there? You're probably thinking, Roger, wow, that speed test is even better than expected. That's way faster than two gigabits per second. Well, I forgot that I had my desktop computer set to actually leverage both Comcast modems. So <laughs> once I fixed the ethernet port issue, we're actually taking my Comcast business and Comcast residential service and the speed test was running between the two. That's why we're seeing the faster speeds. So technically I already had two gigabits, but I was leveraging two Comcast modems, one from Comcast Residential and one from Comcast Business. Now with this new service, Comcast Gigabit X2, on a single modem, I'm able to achieve over two gigabits per second. So once I switch the configuration on my router to actually only utilize one of my Comcast modems, not both of them, I ran another speed test and I was getting the exact speeds that I was supposed to get, at least on the download side. So on the download side, everything looked perfect. On the upload side, I'm supposed to be getting 100 megabits per second, but for some reason, I'm maxing out at around 80. So not horrible, but not what I expected. Once everything with the speeds looked good, I wanted to make sure that the modem was set up into bridge mode. This is really important if you're leveraging your own router and Wi-Fi access point. This is really simple just by going into the Comcast web GUI and enabling bridge mode and doing a quick restart. The next thing I did was turn off the public Wi-Fi access point that Comcast runs on all their modems. It's always bugged me that Comcast is running something that people could just connect to. I know it's a separate network, but it always was just sort of got under my skin. So the first thing I did was log into the Comcast website and disable this. It said it was gonna take up to 24 hours for the Xfinity hotspot to go away on my modem, but it actually went away in under a couple hours. 
If you notice from the speed test, the upload should be around 100 megabits per second. I'm only seeing around 70 to 80. So definitely something I want to look into more. And if I'm not getting full speeds, definitely calling up Comcast to see what's going on. I hope everybody enjoyed the video today. Be sure to hit the like button if you did and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and stay tuned for our upcoming next videos. Till next time, this is Rogers Tech Talk.